going on everybody? Back with another video, rocking my Unchained Athletics tee, which fits like a dream. Shout out to Logan Delgado who sent this to me. So this is a topic that I think a lot of people relate to. The curse of Shredded. So, you've just done your first show. Maybe your second show, third show, whatever show you've done, you've just got yourself in the best shape of your life, day after. First of all is, what do I do now? I know what, I'm gonna go on a bulk. I'm gonna get massive, I'm gonna make gain. So, you start your bulk, you plan your surplus, you reverse diet out, and then you're, you're ready to go. You know, you're still staying lean, you're still in shape, and then the food starts coming, food starts coming. And then, the curse hits. Once you've seen yourself shredded at that six, seven percent body fat, nine percent ain't good enough, 12% ain't good enough. Nothing is good enough apart from that peak condition. But let's remember, it's peak condition. This is the curse. The abs start to fade. And then panic, all hell breaks loose. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> Reality, you want to eat, you're hungry, you want to get back into that calorie surplus. Number two, social media. Everyone on social media, another thing I hate, preaches shredded. 365, shredded, oh yeah. But we all know that naturally, that's not really possible. So this create this little little thing in your head that you're thinking, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could be shredded all oh, year. Maybe I could look how I look on stage every day. And then number three, you misinterpret everything that anyone says. Hey, bro, you look, you're looking kind of big. Yeah, yeah. From that stage where you, you look you look fuller, you can see it in your face. How do you mean you can see it in my face? What? Like I'm fat or something? We're well, not fat, you know, bro. No, no. Chill, chill. Just, just saying. No, forget it. And then the gym mirrors become your enemy, your sworn enemy of your whole life. Every day for however long that you've prepped for your photo shoot or stage day, these mirrors have been good to you. They've shown you the good times. They've shown you your progression to shred it. They've shown you your ab when they're tight, your waist when it's small. Then you go back to the same gym and then it's lying to you. You're not seeing the shredded abs. You're not seeing, you're not seeing the vein. You're seeing smoothness. And then number five, you want to justify everything with, but I'm getting stronger. Dude, you've put on about 30 pounds since the last time I saw you. Yeah, yeah, but my bench went up. My bench went up like by 40 kilos. Yeah, but you're kind of putting on a bit too much, too much weight. Do you reckon you, you need to cut down on the pie and ice cream? What do you mean, bro? But my squat, my squat went up by 50 kilos too. Man's strong as hell, you get me? And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the curse of being shredded. Nothing is ever gonna be good enough. You start your bulk, and then two weeks down the line, you realize that you miss your abs, and then you start your cut again. And it's an ongoing cycle that you cannot beat, you cannot escape. It is the curse of shredded. But that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, if you relate to it. If you understand where I'm coming from, leave your comments in the comment section, comment section, subscribe. Come on, push the button. Push the goddamn button. Share with your friends across all social media, including Facebook and Twitter, and I will catch you guys later. You, you, you can't hide, you can Remember to always be true, no matter what you do. I'm it, I never front it, I got my whole cool